Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome into the Pro Football Chase podcast. It's Isaac Signs with you. And joining me for an interview today is Florida international linebacker Sage Lewis. Lewis was named to the 2019 All-Conference USA second team defense and is regarded as one of the best college linebacker prospects in this year's NFL draft. So Sage, how are you doing today? I'm doing amazing. I mean, uh, with all this quarantining going on, I mean, it's just working out. Yeah, man, I know. Your agent was telling me yesterday you had a little bit of a pro day workout yesterday, and I look forward to asking you about that a little bit later in this interview. But first, I want to recap your college career there at FIU because you put together quite an impressive resume. You set program records for most tackles in a season, 132. Most solo tackles in a season, 83. Most pass breakups in a game with four most tackles in a bowl game with 13. So what do all those accolades mean to you as you move on to the NFL? I, mean, I definitely hold them dear. I mean, it's, it's, it's what every athlete works hard for is to break records and succeed their expectations. Um, leading, leading into the NFL, I mean, it's, it, it's, a, it's a plus, but, you know, it's pretty much starting back over. I mean, pretty much being a freshman again. Yeah, and that's a good mindset to have considering – what you're going to encounter at the next level. But I have to ask you this, Sage, considering the increasing amount of transfers in the college realm, you're seeing players depart programs for others. But for yourself, you stayed there at FIU. You redshirted. You played all four years there. How gratifying is it for you to finish out your college career at one university? I mean, uh, just dealing, dealing with things in my life, I've always been – a person to be committed to whatever I start. Whatever I start, I like to finish. So that was the main thing was just finishing my career at Florida International, regardless of what the circumstances were. So I'm proud to say I spent all my five years there. Well, hats off to you on that. I know Butch Davis took over as head coach ahead of your sophomore redshirt season, but how has right. he helped prepare you for the NFL considering his previous experience at the pro level? I can definitely say he prepped me very well. He has that NFL mentality. I mean, at the end of the day, this is all a business, and everyone knows that. So he, he kind of gave me the ins and outs and not to take things the hard way and, and things like that. So he's a great coach. You started all 12 games in 2019. You recorded 92 total tackles, finishing your career with 306, which is the third most all-time at FIU, 50 solo tackles and 186 for your career. So – what makes you such a productive run stopper? I would say between working hard and watching uh, Ray Lewis highlights. Um, Ray Lewis and Bobby Wagner, I would have to say, is, is two of my favorite players. Uh, that's what they definitely specialize in. And just working hard, man. I, I try to work hard at everything and every aspect of my game. i just always been better at run stopping. Now, one interesting note, Sage, is that you collected three interceptions in 2019 despite going the previous three seasons without one. And in addition, you forced two fumbles, recovered two as well. What changes did you make in your final season that led to your uptick in takeaways? Um, I just learned one of the knocks on me from my junior year was uh, the coverage part. And I made it a point to work on that during my uh, off season, And with the hard work and working on my coverages, uh, just came away with three interceptions. I was way better in coverage. Uh, we kind of switched our defense to the point where I was dropping in the deep third, uh, serving in the middle of the field, and it worked out for my game. All the other fumble uh, recoveries, I mean, that's, that's just having an awareness for where the ball is. I had your quarterback, James Morgan, on for an interview a couple of weeks ago, and one of the games that I talked with him about was y'all's signature win over the Miami Hurricanes in November. And that was a game where you came through in a big way for your squad with 10 total tackles, including a crucial fourth down stop and interception against the right. Hurricanes. And that's a huge win for your program at FIU. So take me back to that game and the emotions that it came with. I mean... We were coming off of a bye week. Um, we had a great week of work, great week of great week of preparation. Um, we were focused. Two two total weeks. I mean, 
team, a lot of teams tend to slack off that that first bye week. Um, but we we knew what we wanted to come out and do. I mean, speaking to the game, the moment was surreal. I mean, <laughs> what can I say, man? It's, it, it was a great moment. It, we we did it for the alumni, everybody who was watching. I mean, just being little brother, pretty much. And college football, especially when it comes to University of Miami, uh, we just came out of show. We were the top dogs that night. Sage, you were invited to play in the 2020 Tropical Bowl, which features top seniors playing in front of NFL scouts and general managers. Now, not only did you participate, but you dominated. You were named the MVP of the college all-star game, 11 tackles. How did you use that to your benefit to perhaps open up the eyes of talent evaluators? Um, I, I just take, to be honest, I just take whatever opportunity that's given to me and I, I, I make the best of it. Um, of course, I wanted to play in uh, the other games, but that was the opportunity that was presented to me and I just I just took advantage of it. it and to be honest, it was still great competition out there, so I, I had to bring my A game no matter what. And when it was game time, it was game time. I saw that you were listed as middle linebacker for the Panthers how comfortable would you be playing the weak side or strong side positions in the NFL? So coming into college, I started at a uh, weak linebacker. Um, I, I loved it. <laughs> I, I really did. But, you know, the Mike, the middle linebacker is pretty much the commander. And we had a young group of linebackers. So it was ideal that I moved. I made that switch to middle linebacker my junior year, which is the year I had the record-breaking year. That was my first uh, year ever playing middle linebacker. So. Yeah, I, I was super comfortable with it. But um, if I had to go back to well or strong side, I, I would love to do that. Whatever the team needs me, I'll do it. This is a question I ask a lot of the draft prospects, but who inspired you to play the game of football? Who inspired me to play the game of football? I would say my, my cousins. Uh, they always they always went to football, so when I met them, that was pretty much a family thing to do. So <laughs> they, those are the ones who got me into football. Now, Sage, I saw something really interesting, all right? In your Instagram bio, I saw that you have a caption that reads, best linebacker in the country. Most players shy away from putting something that bold on social media, but you keep it up there. So talk about that. What makes you confident in that statement? My work ethic. I work hard every day, every day in and out, Uh, you know, just – uh, I haven't been put in the best of situations, but I appreciate every situation that I've been put in, and I'll shine through all of my situations. And I definitely feel that I am the best linebacker in college football. I mean, who 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 wouldn't say that about themselves? Um, but along with saying that, it, you you got to look into look in the mirror and see how you work. Oh, if you don't work hard, you you won't feel comfortable with saying that. But if you work hard and you know. The, the the days that you put into the grind, you, you, you wouldn't have a problem with saying that. Now, I saw the FIU Pro Day was rescheduled for April 13th at 8 a.m. How have you been training and preparing for that day? Uh, but I like like I said, I mean, I've been training for three and a half months, four months pretty much. And uh, we had like a like a Pro Day in Tampa yesterday. Um just, just for guys to get their numbers, I, I, I placed pretty good numbers. Um, but if I had to go and perform there, so be it. I'm ready. What is your message? There's a lot of NFL executives that listen to the podcast. They follow the page, Pro Football Chase. What is your number one message to all the NFL general managers who may be wanting to learn a little bit more about you as a player and the character that you bring? The number one thing I would have to say is I I, I was born through adversity, um, just just put in the in the toughest situations ever in my life and I time through. Um, I feel like that's the beautiful game about football. You learn how to get through adversity and it trans over it translates over into everyday life and the situations that I've even endured this past year dealing with injuries. Uh, my best friend passed away. I mean. Just, and I've shined through, kept a level head. So just dealing with the, the game of football, I mean, it, it, it's pretty much easy at this point. Well, Sage, man, I appreciate you joining me for an interview today. I wish you nothing but the best as you continue your preparations for the 2020 NFL Draft. Take care and God bless.
Right. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Thanks for having me.